What is happening, Magnesites? Remember to come out and see me November 11th in Times Square, New York City for the Urban Action Showcase and Expo. Link for the tickets is in the description box. And do not forget to use the promo code Magnesite. How can this be? I don't understand. I'm a super elite. That does it. That's it. This planet is history. talk about this baby let's talk about this y'all really seem to enjoy me talking and reviewing the last episode 110 last time so let's talk about this one now so in dragon ball super episode 111 we got to see jaren versus hito okay hito sama okay in english hit all right, and I was expecting, I definitely was expecting Hit to take it to him because I knew that Hit was on or slightly above Goku's level. We've all seen what Hit can do, okay? So I was like, okay, and I really like Hit, okay? I really like Hit. I like his look. He looks really fucking cool. He got the trench coat, got the cool ass tight stance. He's got the Titan time skip. And don't shit phase him. He ain't scared of nobody. I like him. He's cool. He's a cool motherfucker. And I need a hit statue to put right there. I'm going to get me a hit statue along with my Frieza statue and my Goku Ultra Instinct statue. Fuck a Jiren statue. Jiren is plain to me. I think more could have been done with Jiren. Okay. I don't know whether he's a villain or not. He doesn't seem to be evil. But they could have thought of a cooler design for him, personally. You know, I, I, yeah, I just don't like his design. Something about Jaren is boring. From just the smooth gray skin to the black bug eyes, something's clonish about him to me. And clonish is what I mean by when you play video games and you're in it on on levels and you got clones on each level. that are just the easy clones that you just get rid of. Until you get to the boss or you get guys that are slightly above. He's one of them. That's why he has just a generic, very generic look to me. Um, so for those of you that love Jiren, okay, you love him. We have a difference of opinion. I don't really give a fuck about him. I'm very indifferent with him. I'm really very indifferent. So also in the episode, we got to see the love bitches fighting. Whatever. I'm not paying attention to that, that BS. I didn't log in to Verve to watch that. Okay. So we're going to talk about this fight. So Hit is doing these time skips over and over and over again. And I'm trying to figure out why does he keep doing it if it's not working? And people say that shit to me when I be playing video games. Why do you keep doing the same thing? Because I'm figuring shit out. I'm figuring timing out. Because I know I can beat this doing this. Okay? And he, it was the same. And I called it. I was like, he figuring shit out. And he did. He did the time skip enough times to where he was able to time Jaren's blocks or whatever. Well, I think it was his blocking. So he was able to time this shit. He knew what he was going to do. And then he unleashed it on... Jaren's all powerful ass. Okay. So then Jaren, I thought Jaren was power or not, but he's not. He was stuck in the time skip. Turning blue or purple, or whatever color it was. I'm colorblind. So yeah, I mean that. I am. So um They telling Chompa's telling hit. <laughs> Hold a minute. Hold a minute, nigga. Until the time run out. And he's trying, but he can't. He's got not got enough power to do it. Oh, by the way, told y'all Frieza was going to revive Goku. That's exactly what he did. Scared the piss out of Goku, too. Goku was like, Aah! Oh, none? Okay, so hey, Frieza said we're all square. We're all squared away. Okay? So, we're going to see what else Frieza is going to do. So, anyway... Back to this. So, Hit has got to hit him with his ultimate 
The ultimate, I forgot what they called the ultimate assassin's fist. Ultra assassin's fist. Probably was ultimate. I think if they said ultra, it'd be too much like ultra instinct. But was it ultra? It was something assassin's fist. Y'all remember. So he, well, first of all, he had already punched Jaren through the fucking wall. Okay. Through a few walls or something like that. Which is all, they both got put through a few walls. And he hit Jaren through a wall. He did, didn't he? I gotta go see it again. But anyway, so I remember that happening. So then, you know, Jaren starts moving on him. Yeah, you know. So then it's like, ah, shit, here we go. Matter of fact, I got it. I, oh, man, my timing's good. I clicked right on it because I wanted to go back and make sure. Yeah, he did. He punched Jaren right in his chest, caved his chest in. And knocked him through a bunch of walls. Not a bunch of mountains. There we go. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. Jaren ends up being able to move. <clears throat> Hit's going to hit him. With the ultimate. Assassin's fist. Or whatever they call it. And he catches that shit. With his glare. He stops it with his glare. And then crushes it right in front of him. And then proceeds to fuck up hit with multiple hits and a couple of blasts to the chest and he turned his back on him like mm -hmm. I was like man knocked hit right out the fucking ring so there we have it Jiren basically goes into meditation and tells everybody look hey look ain't the, the rest of these motherfuckers ain't worth my time niggas Y'all handle the rest while I rest. <clears throat> they try to court. They people try to attack him and they don't do nothing. They just like, look, man, don't you get it? You're not worth his time. Okay. So, you know, Goku gets mad because he's like, what? What? You saying you I I ain't worth. I ain't worth your time, nigga. So, you know, Goku got mad. You know, so I was like, yeah, I told Goku. I said, look, he couldn't hear me, though. I said, look, what you going, you got to do something now, baby. You got to do something now. Jiren closed his eyes on you. Okay, somebody start meditating in front of you after you gave your best. That's a bitch slap. The whole audience just said, ooh, in unison when hit. When, when not hit, when Jaren did that. Because I know I did. If you hear, hear all the Dragon Ball Super fans across the world, we all was like, ooh. You know what I'm saying? So, next episode or whatever, supposed to be like the Saiyans and, and Freezer grabbed Kappa's face. What was that short for Cabbage? Anyway, uh, and Vegeta's in it and something. Vegeta probably helps Kaba, Kaba go to another level or whatever or something. I don't know what's going to happen. Kale and Khalifa's punk asses, Mary Sue fucking asses. Whatever. I don't give a fuck about the next episode. Unless I see Vegeta do some serious damage, okay? I don't give a fuck about the Sands from Earth 6 or Season 6, Universe 6, 8, 9, 5 and a half. I don't give a fuck about them. I don't. I don't care about Kaba, Khalifa, or Kale. Fuck them, okay? All I care about is Goku, Vegeta, and the rest of that team. That's all I care about and hit. That's my boy, okay? So anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Anything I missed, post it in the description box. Not in the description. I said that before at the end of my live stream. Post it in the comment section, nigga. Okay. And let me know what y'all all thought of Dragon Ball Super Episode 111. And if y'all want me to continue to review these episodes, I probably will. I know y'all like when I do reviews and talk about it. So Hit is has moved up on one of my favorite on my favorites list. He's definitely moved up. Frieza is now on one of my on my favorites list, which I never thought I'd ever put him on my favorites list. Goku's still on it. Jiren will never be on it, at least not now. And Vegeta is pissing me off 
because he's my favorite period point blank and he has not had no serious shine he needs a goku ultra and stank moment i don't care if his method is something else he needs some time to shine he does it's gonna piss me off all right toriyama's writers Get, get the word to him. Let him know, let him know Tyrone Magnus said, he know who I am. Let him know Tyrone Magnus said, Vegeta needs some time to shine. Whether he likes Vegeta or not, that don't matter. Tell him Tyrone Magnus said, Vegeta needs some shine before this arc is over, okay? <laughs> Ultra instinct level shine. All right. Post comments down below. Let me know what y'all thought. If you enjoyed my review, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Of course, if you did not, you can kiss my black Dragon Ball Super loving. There he is. 10 million subscribers. Woo! You may now subscribe.